We've got skeletons. I must wonder what is up here. My goodness. Bodies everywhere. Ah. They are wizards then. In alchemy lab and an enchanting table. Fascinating. I should like to make some health potions, I suppose. Yes, these do always come in handy. Ah! And a little magicka as well. I find myself delving into the magical arts ever since visiting with the mages' guilds, yes? Mm. I've learned that it takes uh, quite some soul in order to cast magical spells. And I think at the beginning of this journey, Brandar's soul was small. My goodness. But my soul has grown through my adventures. And I find myself quite adept at using the magical arts these days. As you can tell. Hmm, poisons. This is not a good place. No, not at all. I hope I don't offend the spirits by taking this gold, but I don't think they'll be using it anytime soon. This seems to be the end of the road. What is this? Oh my goodness. Rendar dares not touch it. What sort of a sacrifice might it take, hmm? It could end up very poorly. Taking Brandar into another world? Or possibly taking poor Richard. No, neither of us deserves that. I should leave this place. Quite some uh, foul magic. I feel it in my bones. Hmm. If I could find uh, an entrance of some sort, figure out where they are hiding in here, I would clear the magic. Oh. That gave me quite a fright. I thought it might be a zombie, but it is a... Uh, it's just a man on a stick. A man with a stick in his eye. Hmm. Let us leave this place, Richard. Quite dangerous, I think. There was a pillar up there, Richard. A pillar of sacrifice. I dared not touch it. Because I wanted to uh, save both you and... End my life, if that is uh, the sacrifice that it would take. You know, these things need to be more specific. Maybe have a little sign next to it that says, Hey, if you touch this, you'll be possessed by the demons. And uh, then Brandar would also not touch it. But if it's a smaller sacrifice, if perhaps a couple hundred gold, I could, I could see myself parting with that, huh? I part with a few hundred gold for some lockpicks. Hmm. I wonder if the Stormcloaks have anything to do with that uh, foul magic. Perhaps that is why they are so ill-tempered towards outsiders, hmm? Oh my, Richard. Come, come, come. It does not get stuck here, huh? Hmm. I suppose it is the right thing to do to help the Stormcloaks. Brandar will keep his word to the Nords and Solstheim. Hmm. <sighs> it's amazing how clear your head can become when you are uh, one with nature, you see. Alright, wait here. Dad is going to go talk to uh, the Mr. Ulfric. We will see if uh, I can be accepted into the Stormcloaks, or if they should turn me away, as I do suspect that they would. Although, hmm, if they know of uh, my supposed dragonborn powers, as they, they do seem to, so much as scratches you, it will turn into one. That better not be true. It is true. Vampires are very dangerous, my friend. Ah, the rest of the Khajiit seem to be outside the city, so Brandar suspects that uh, the people here have heard about Brandar's supposed dragonborn powers. 
And if that is the case, then I think that the High Lord Ulfric should uh, welcome me with open arms. Hmm. Need something. At least this is my assumption. One can never be too sure, hmm? There's only one way to find out, I do suppose. And that is by asking. You'll say, please. I wish to help. I met your brothers in Soul's time. Would somebody shut that dog up? People need to, uh, tame their beasts. Hmm. Want to have a dog and have him have no manners at all. Quite a shame. He's a true Nord. Fancy digs. Mm. True, isn't it? Be so a dragon has attacked White Run. We've intercepted Corius. We so did happen, my friend. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Oh, getting quite yes, close there, huh? Why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country the full of The Stormcloaks are finding victory across faces. the land. I fight for my people. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves! I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Well, I couldn't help overhearing that uh, your sights are set on the white run, are they? I have been granted some status there. Perhaps I would be able to talk to them. Greetings to you, Jarl Ulfric. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Hmm, yes indeed. I think we've already met once before. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Hmm? Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Quite. I was set free, and I could have gone anywhere. But I came here to assist you in fighting the Empire. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. 
So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Being welcomed into the ranks, I suppose this means they would let me stay if we are victorious in this war. Hello to you, Galmar. Helgen, eh? Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Ah, but first, tell me, why is a cat want to fight for Skyrim? I am not a cat, I am a Khajiit. And, uh... I would fight and die for the chance to push back the Imperials who have so overstretched their power. The High Elves thinking that they can rule over men and cats as well. I've seen this even in my own homeland. The main pushing against the Bosmer, trying to rule another person's life is not right. So I would bleed for the chance to fight with the Storm uh, Can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do, that I can work with. So, do you only take Nords? Or would the Khajiit be well? You mistake me. I'm not saying no, just wondering about your intentions. We're not looking for sellswords. The Stormcloaks need dedicated men and women who are devoted to the cause and willing to die for it. Hmm. And that is why I'm here, willing to fight and die, as I've already said. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. Hmm, and what kind of test would that be? The kind be? men use to measure themselves. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you won't going to be much use to me anyway. Hmm, an island I'm not so fond of. Mm, must it be Serpentstone Island? Could you not come up with another task? Ah. What is there and what must I it's do? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there. And I'll have all the proof I need about you. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this. When you kill that ice wraith, then we'll talk about you becoming a storm cloak. Here, take this. You'll need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Well, I suppose uh, I thank you. For the little bit of help that I've got. Ah, an ice wraith. I can handle an ice wraith, but uh, on an island? Hmm. I'm not so sure. I just think the nine. Yes, the nine. Not the eight, as they would have you believe in this place, in this time. Hmm. I think the nine. That Richard has come back to me. He's quite a swimmer. Although, uh, I think I might end up getting my feet wet if this island is somewhere out yes, in the are. depths. Hmm. Not looking forward to it at all, but if I must prove myself, I must prove myself. I don't blame them for not wanting to uh, take me on board. Without any questions asked, I suppose. Ah, the things I do to repay my debts. Brandar keeping his word. Hmm. I sort of like the old Brandar. It would have just, uh, let things be. Go to an island? No, not going to do it. But, I must assist. And the dogs, endless. Endless barking from the hounds. I simply don't understand it. If I see them, I should kill them dead where they stand. I think this is the way. Hmm. Perhaps it is marked on my map somewhere, hmm? 
Let us see. Could this be the island they speak of? Hmm, somewhere out here. Ah, it seems deep. And I know it's cold as well. But perhaps we can avoid the water as much as possible, huh, Richard? I'd hate for you to catch a bit of the hypothermia. Ah. And there is my doggy friend. Come, Richard. Quickly. Yes. Good boy. Nipping at my heels, he is. Let us see. Where have you gone? Nowhere to be found. Oh my, and now we've got skeletons. Well, down they go. Oh, not many friends around here. Ah, the dog will fight the skeletons. And die thusly. Alright, maybe two more? Maybe just the one. Ha! <laughs> no armor, no nothing. Quite easy to take them down. Hmm. This skeleton was an Argonian. Quite unfortunate. Perhaps there are some necromancers nearby. And if that is the case, Brandar must take them down. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.